Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first ever official YouTube video, and as a test of how I'm going to make this work, um, I'm going to put up a video of my um, World of Warships account. I figured that would be the easiest thing for me to do, since I love playing World of Warships. Uh, we're going to start off with the Albany. It's the USS Albany Tier 2 Cruiser. Eh, people don't really like it, because it only has a 6.3 kilometer gun range. Um, and that's kind of bad here and there. It's really bad. And it only moves 20 knots, which means you're either going to get left behind or you're going to get left dealing with everybody else. And you have an 8 kilometer surface detectability range, which is why people don't like the 6.3 firing range. Um, anybody that has the Albany will tell you it's crap. And then move on to the St. Louis, the, beautif the beauty of the American Navy. In my opinion, she's the tier 3. I think she's the awesomest tier 3. Well, it's kind of weird because the Russians have a premium ship, the Aurora, that acts just like her. Um, and the Con the Kohlberg, German tier 2, tier 3, is just like it. Lots of guns. They're not very big guns, but there are a lot of them. And they're very deadly at tier 3. Um, and it has a decent amount of armor right there in the middle where that belt armor is right there under the barbettes. Um, it's a very dangerous ship. I like her. She's kind of my favorite in terms of that tier of ship. Uh, here's my American Destroyer, the Nicholas. Um, I figured I'd start with tier 5 um, in terms of videos and stuff because um, it's the first real grind. It's the only time you actually see anybody spend any real amount of time in World of Warships is at tier 5. It's when they start grinding. Um, in my opinion, Tier 4 is kind of easy. I mean, it takes a little bit longer than Tier 3, but not nearly as long as Tier 5. Um, so I figured I'd start with 5. And this is my Omaha. I have the full hull upgrade. Um, I traded the two main battery guns and two sets of torpedoes for um, more AA and the ship-launched uh, catapult planes. Catapult fighters. Yeah, that's me showing it to you. And the Omaha C little hull upgrade, which some people don't like um, because it trades the torpedoes, but I don't really care for the Omaha torpedoes anyway. Uh, this is my New York um, grinding for the uh, New Mexico now. I think I have, the, I have everything fully upgraded, I believe. Either that or I'm missing the last upgrade, I think. And I think I have all of it. Uh, yes, I am recording this after the fact because I haven't quite figured out how to get Power Director to record at the same time. It doesn't want to seem to want to do that. Um, this is my Bogue. I have it fully upgraded and I am running the two fighters, one bomber squadron. I didn't realize it at the time, but if I looked at the section over it actually tells you. I figured I'd show it to you anyway. Um, working on the Independence. Um, she is a pretty quick, and I like her for AA. Um, she has a decent AA. I've stayed out of trouble that way. Um, the Sims is the tier 7 that you, if you bought your way into the beta test like I did, um, two days after it went into open, or two days before it went into open beta, so I didn't get my Arkansas, but I, I dropped $70 and got the Sims class destroyer and the other two ships. I bought all three of the Founders pack ships. Um, I went for the longer range torpedoes. That way I could play this thing more like a Japanese destroyer with good guns. Um, they're not as fast and they don't do as much damage, but I can launch them outside of my detectability range. Um, I'm holding on to my Orland because I know that the Germans, the Russians are going to have cruisers and I don't want to have to rebuy it later. Plus, I can rack up. I have a little bit of experience racked up, so I can just go ahead and research the cruiser and won't have to worry about much. Um, here's the Aurora. This is the um, German or Russian. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Russia. This is the Soviet version of the St. Louis. Um, 1,452 millimeter guns down both sides. Um, she's not as good as the St. Louis in my opinion there's just something about the St. Louis I don't know I don't it's not as well armored as the St. Louis is stands up the St. Louis stands up better um, this is my Genevni um, 
tier 5 Russian destroyer. Um, apparently, from what I've seen, um, the Genevni, or the Russian cruisers, I should say, tend to be more like small cruisers. They have a stupid amount of AA, um, and their torpedoes are crap, but their guns are pretty decent. Um, this is Grimyachki, is one of the other premium ships that I bought in that three ship package. Um, I'm pretty sure that the Grimyachki is a Genevni class because they look exactly the same. Except the, the Grimyachki gets much better torpedoes. Um, which is a plus, I think. Because it actually makes the uh, Grimyachki a competitor in the torpedo world. Um, this is the Yubari, which is the third and final of those uh, three ships. Um, it's my least favorite. It's a tier four, and it has the defensive fire cooldown, but it only has one charge. And it doesn't have that many secondary guns to turn into primaries. Um, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um, if you're going to play this, play it as an AA cruiser, not a actual fighting cruiser, because you only get four guns, two in front and two in back. So it's kind of ridiculous. Plus, they're not very good guns. Um, they reload decently. They're not really good guns. But, um, they reload alright. It's, it's a pretty decent cruiser. Um, yeah. It's got a ridiculous surface detectability range, though. Which makes it kind of hard for you to get close to torp them. Um, I got this beauty the other day when it went on, when it officially went into the tech tree. It's the Izusuji. Um, I like it. It's got 10, 305 millimeters. Um, which I think are the same size guns as on the New York. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, like I said, I'm doing this post recording, so I didn't go back to the New York to check it, but I think it does. I think it has the same guns as the, the American Tier 5 battleship. Um, and then the Minikaze, a true Japanese destroyer. Um, crap guns and good torpedoes. Um, it only has a 7 kilometer torpedo range, though. Which is kind of let down. Um, the tier 4 beneath it had, I think, a tier 8. Had an 8 kilometer torpedo range, which was better. Um, these torpedoes only do a little bit more damage, but there are um, a lot of them. They're, well, they're two, three triple, three double barrel guns, or double barrel um, torpedo tubes. And there's a Furutaka. I don't really like this ship. Um, because it's the first Japanese ship gets, that gets the 203 millimeter guns, which means they're crap. Um, they don't reload very fast. They only do four They only do uh, four rounds a minute, and the uh, shells do a lot of damage. But trying to get them to hit is ridiculous. Um, and then there's the Congo, the mighty mighty Congo. Uh, beautiful ship with all of its. Four, 300 with all of its 14 inch guns um, I don't really like the accuracy of these 14 inch guns which I know are improved on the Fuso um, which is good um, but the, the the accuracy on these guns are just crap um, I do have her fully upgraded with her AA and stuff so she will knock out a tier 4 aircraft carrier flight really easily um, speaking of aircraft carrier here's the Japanese, Zuiho. Um, I went with one fighter, two torpedo bomber squadrons, and a bomber squadron. Um, that's the only ones. I mean, you either get two torpedo bombers or you get two dive bombers. You don't get the option for more fighters, which I think is kind of retarded. Um, and here's the Konigsberg, the, Jap the German cruiser. Um, three guns up front, six in back, which are kind of weird the way those two in back are arranged. Um, I mean, they're effective, but they're just kind of weird. Um, they're good guns, good torpedoes, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's my port. Um, it's a decent ship. I've gotten like 11 Citadel penetrations in that thing in one game before. Um, within like 5 minutes, it was pretty good. But yeah, my favorite ship overall is the... Uh, come on, this is, this is my port. That's all I got.